to us that you know, maybe, maybe you had played right tackle before, there's a possibility about you moving there, but obviously you're playing left guard. Just how, how nice is it to keep that left side intact with Sean and Corey, considering the success you guys had last year? Um, it's always good if you can keep consistency along the line. Um, whether, you know, I mean, there's always going to be moving parts and stuff uh, with injuries and, and whatnot, but uh, just to kind of keep that consistency on the left side is uh, it's going to be good for, for a young group. Uh, having another year under under his belt, um, especially in this offense, kind of in the same system. So, uh, yeah, it's just um, just maturing and, and growing every day. Um, you know, just, yeah, he's, he's progressing well. What have your initial impressions of Coach Nugent? I never met him though, but uh, not until he was brought in here. Um, but yeah, he, he fits right in with our room. Um, you know, it's a lot of the same terminology uh, that, that we used last year, so uh, it wasn't much turnaround with that. So it's it's been uh, pretty easy going. And then just having Sean around still in the room, how much does that help sort of transition going from Frank to? Uh, it's been good. Like I said, uh, same terminology and stuff. So um, it was it wasn't very hard of a transition at all. But it's it's been nice to have him in the room just to kind of. Um, you know, kind of keep things within the terms that we know. How challenging is it for you guys to now practice How difficult is it? Yeah. Um, or just how, how much how challenging how much it helps you guys? Uh, I mean, it definitely helps, you know, getting guys like that, some uh, some of the best pass rushers in the league, um, lining up against our guys, you know, it's it definitely makes us, um, we, we have to be on our best, uh, you know, technique and stuff like that, so. Um, anytime someone can get a rep against them, it's going to help us out. How much upheaval is a third different line coach in three years, or does Sean coming with you from Pittsburgh and kind of being the being the constant help out? Um, well, it definitely helps uh, having Sean here with me. But um, you know, being being here in the NFL for so long, it's kind of um, I don't want to say all the systems are the same, but a lot of the a lot of the techniques the same. Um, just kind of different verbs, uh, you know, terminology and stuff like that is just uh, um, just a little different, but I, I, you can catch on pretty quick. What's that uh, jumped out to you about Jamari? So oh, <laughs> big, big guy. Uh, he's strong. He uses his size well. Uh, and he's he's another one of those guys that has the uh, you know the hard work ethic, and uh, you know he's got, he's going to be good too. It seems like it seems like the intensity you kind of picked up on yesterday and, and a little bit more today. But how, how do how you describe that like out in the eleven on eleven and also one on ones as well? Uh, I, I think it's just getting the pads on for the first time in a while, and just finally being able to uh, you know hit and make and get contact against each other. Um, and then plus with the fans you know coming out yesterday. Um, yeah, you kind of have that exci- that excitement in the air. Um, so yeah, I think the the intensity turned up a little bit yesterday, a little bit more today, just knowing that we're we're getting that much closer to, to uh, games. I saw you going one on one against Austin Johnson too. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are your impressions about him coming in here on the team? Uh, he's a strong guy too. Um, you know, he's gonna be he's gonna be one of those uh, power guys. Um, but he, I mean, he also mixes in hands as well. So he's definitely uh, he's definitely one of those guys that wants to keep you on your toes, and, and he's gonna uh, use both of his abilities to, to keep doing that. How has your uh, relationship with Corey grown since you guys team first teamed up last Monday? Uh, you know, we, we've uh, we've gotten a little bit more comfortable with each other over the, over the year. Um, just kind of. You know, we're able to be on the same page with a lot of other things and uh, just kind of keep that consistency. That's good. Thanks, man. Thank you, man. Thanks. Uh, it's been cool, um, you know, getting used to playing with a new group. Uh, there's a lot of us that are new, so I think it's been kind of cool to see everybody coming together pretty quickly. Um, I, I got to admire the offense from a distance last year, so it's been really cool to be able to compete with them, uh, compete with these backs, and, uh, you know, just just right now is all about coming together, seeing what, seeing what we're made of, becoming a tough and competitive football team, so... That's hard to do until you put the pads on. You're coming from a Super Bowl winning team. What did you learn last season that you can maybe bring with you and um, yeah, if guys boy. ask for any advice or wisdom, pass on? Yeah, um, you know, the biggest thing is, like, you got to be built to go all the way, and that, that really starts right now, and it seems kind of crazy being that it just turned into August right now, but, um, 
you know, the habits that we're creating right now are stuff that's going to drive us all the way through September, October, November, and then hopefully into mid-February. So, you know, just the little things uh, about what it takes and, you know, how to stay healthy and do the right things every single day. Um, I was blessed to be around a group that did do it the right way every day and coming out and competing. And then, uh, you know, I see so many similarities in that here. And, uh, you know, I think I think this team has what it takes. And, uh, you know, we just got to put it all together and uh, keep competing and uh, practice here, making each other better. Troy, you mentioned that how many new pieces there are on defense and how quickly it's it's coming together. What has allowed that to happen? Is it just having a lot of guys that have been in the scheme before, whether it's you and Sebastian and Khalil, or is it something something more than that? Yeah, I mean, one, we have really, really good coaches, not just Coach Staley, but at D.C. and our position coaches, too. So, you know, that's been huge. But, yeah, I mean, the familiarity helps a lot. It's, it's allowed guys like me, Sebastian, Khalil, Bryce, guys that have played in this system uh, at least one year, to be able to come in and uh, at least know the, the general uh, scheme. And, you know, we're picking up a little bit of the new stuff that Coach Staley has implemented through last year that was a little bit different than what I did in 2020, than what Khalil did in whatever year that was, 2018, and Bryce did in Denver and, um, and Chicago. So, you know, overall, you know, uh, the language is normally a big uh, learning point and learning curve to when you come into a new system we know the language we can speak it and that that's the biggest thing now we're just fine-tuning the details and you know there's every day there's one or two things that I do that's something we did different last year but it's the same t- call and you know we're learning how to play it a different way so um, it, it's been really good and the guys that have been here kind of leading that charge and uh, they had a good group and we're happy to be with them What specifically have you seen kind of like some, some overlapping and with this culture? Yeah, first of all, there's leaders on both sides of the ball and special teams. Um, you have a quarterback that can compete and put up any number of points in any given game, and you got a defense that could potentially shut out any team. So, you know, the pieces are there. It's about doing it week in and week out and, you know, staying healthy and uh, peaking at the right time. So, you know, those are things that, some are out of your control, some are in your control, and they're down the line. But what we're doing right now is building a team that's capable of peaking at the right time and grinding through a long season that hopefully we're playing 21 games this year. You mentioned leaders on special teams. It is a lot of young guys and, and new guys on special teams. So who who is emerging sort of as those leaders on special teams? Yeah, I mean, right now there's a lot of guys that are kind of showing up, um, you know, overall, like, our specialists have been really good. It's been cool for me. I play punk guard. Um, I've done that for every year of my career, no matter if I've been the number one guy on at linebacker or number three guy and not playing much on defense. I've always kind of settled in at that guard position, and it's been really, really fun to work with Josh Harris. And, you know, he's a Pro Bowl guy that's been doing it for 10 years, and, you know, he attacks in the weight room. He's, he's a leader kind of no matter what – offense defense or special teams he's a guy you kind of look to and admire um you know jk is coming in and hit some insane balls yesterday and obviously dustin's been doing it a long time and as good as anybody so i think those three are leading the way uh i'm trying to be one of the guys in that group uh to bring everything together um i've been able to do it for a long time uh and you know it's a big part of my game and uh being a part of this league and making my name has been a special team. So just trying to get everybody on the same page and uh, doing all the right stuff. What have been your initial impressions of Coach Ficken? He is, he's awesome. Um, and it's cool because we got to game plan them when he was in Minnesota last year. And, uh, man, I, I thought they had one of the best units uh, in the NFL, and uh, he was really tough to prepare for. They're super multiple. He had a great returner, some good specialists, and just the way they attacked. and it, You could tell that their guys were bought in, and that's generally like a pretty good way of telling how good a special teams coach is, is if they can get guys to buy in. And uh, They had a lot of guys that were starter, starting caliber guys on their special teams units that were contributing. And, uh, you know, when you have that and guys are bought in, you can tell it's a guy that 
people love to play for and have enjoyed it, and, and I certainly have so far. And I'm, I've played for a different special teams coach every year, and I, I'm still learning a lot. And uh, he's been great for me, him and Coach Beep as well. This defense, all these new pieces, between now and the start of the season, what has to happen for this thing to all come together? Yeah, I mean, first of all, just a little bit of getting to know each other. Um, you know, some, I've never known J.C. Jackson, you know, and, like, we're just in the locker room trying to get to know each other a little bit. Uh, Kyle Van Noy, uh, I'm getting to know the guys that were here, you know, Joey Bosa and all, all the other guys. So, um, you know, I, I think the best defenses are kind of a f- group of friends, you know, guys that all know each other to some capacity outside of the game of football. And that's why I love camp. And, um, you know, there's some of us that have, you know, Coach Staley allows the vets to stay at their own places through camp. But there's a big group of us that have opted to stay at the hotel just to, you know, that, that camp feel and to grind together. And, you know, we're hitting snack like late night together and doing all that that I think those are little things and then uh just on the field there's there's certain things that guys like to do that are different than the guys you've played with before um and you're just kind of learning uh, at how to play with each other and uh some of that is drill work some of that is just being able to throw us out there in team and then um you know I love these two minute periods where stuff starts kind of going fast and all of a sudden like guys are reverting to what's natural to them and not just thinking so much, and then, uh, you know, you're learning how to play as a group. What has it been like uh, reuniting with Nazir Adderley yeah. uh, from Delaware and, and they, they, they nice couple plays um, for the last couple of days? Yeah, he had a great pick today in a competitive third down period. Um, you know, I got to – we talk about it all the time. It's cool because, you know, we started playing together when we were, you know, 19 years old and uh, being able to see how far we've come. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it's – it's not by accident. Like that's one of the hardest working dudes I've I've been around. And um, he and I were super competitive when we were in college, and uh, I think it brought the best out of each other. And uh, I know it's going to do the same here. Thanks, Troy. Cool. Thanks, Troy. How you guys doing? Yeah. All right. Well, oh, good afternoon. Um, Glad you guys are here. It was great, uh, you know, being out here, another good days of work. I think these uh, specialists are doing a great job in terms of trying to find uh, their niche in terms of uh, being consistent, uh, putting a good day's work each and every day, continue to get better. Um, I'm really impressed with um, the core guys and how hard they've been working, how they bought in. I uh, really have uh, worked with the technique, fundamentals, things we're trying to get, lay the foundation and uh, get off the ground. But um, other than that, I think it's been a, a good camp so far. We're just trying to continue to build on each day and uh, move forward. But, um, from your kickers so far. Uh, the kickers, yeah. yeah uh, the kickers, I think the, I mean, they got strong legs. Um, they do a great job. They're professionals. They know their, their craft. Uh, I think the operation's been going really well uh, with those guys. Uh, the thing that we'll always continue to try and build on is the consistency. You know, making sure we uh, we're staying our, our rhythm up to the ball, our operation. We just gotta make sure we're consistent all the way through the kick and then uh, finish our kicks. But I'm uh, very impressed with both of them. Is consistency what you're uh, emphasizing the most towards your players for, for special teams, or what, what other things are you emphasizing? I mean, absolutely. But it's uh, you know just the urgency. You know, playing technique, fundamentals. Right now, we're trying to lay that foundation that's going to allow us to be successful in all these situations as we continue to move further in camp. We want to make sure we go ahead and get in these situationals. Uh, um, parts of the game, you know, full operations, full uh, punt, kickoff, and all that as we continue to move forward. But right now, we got to make sure we have a good foundation uh, before we can go ahead and get to the, the second level. Trevor was saying that he's noticed a lot of buy-in from the players on special teams. How do you ultimately take that message and get it across to your players so that so they do that? I think it's a lot of it on the players and that you know the head coach and uh, how he approaches them. Um, so they really they believe that. I mean, these guys are some good players. They're really good around uh, on this roster. I mean. Um, uh, Telesco and his staff, they've done a great job building this roster. And, uh, you know, obviously uh, head coach uh, Staley done a great job targeting the guys that they want. But uh, we got great guys on this roster, and they want to be great. And that's what they work hard. They're professionals. Um, so they want more and more each day. And uh, we got to make sure we continue to uh, work uh, with them on that and uh, get them better. DeAndre Carter is obviously the guy that was brought in to do, do the returns. Has he been pretty much, you know, everything that you thought he was? Or what have you seen from 
You know, I've, uh, you know, working with him, I mean, I haven't been around him as much. I've obviously seen him around, you know, watching him and studying him uh, around the league. But I've been really impressed with the way he is in terms of being a professional, the way he approaches the game, the way he goes ahead and steps on the field. He means business every time. But his acceleration and his burst, um, I think, is better than what you see on tape. I mean, I'm really pleased with where he's at. I'm pleased with all the other returners. Uh, they're working hard out there to try and win those spots, too, because it's not – we're not solidified, but we know who we got. But, uh, you know, we got to make sure we continue to improve in those situations with the, in that position. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Brandon said you mentioned yesterday about uh, that J.K. Scott, one of his biggest strengths is hang time. Can you talk a little bit about what having him back there means for, like, your special teams unit? Absolutely. I mean, it allows us to flip the field. Um, I mean, it, but it's, it goes with everything in terms of our operation, you know, our protection. In order for us to have a successful kick, we got to do great in operation in terms of our snap. Starts with him, starts within our, with our protection and giving him a good pocket. But he's been doing a great job uh, with his operation in terms of getting that ball off quickly. Um, great job with our directional punts when we ask whatever we're asking of him. And then the hang time. I mean, he had several kicks uh, yesterday at 11 punts where they were above five second hang time. And so that's what we need from him. But again, we need to make sure we continue to do that on a consistent basis and uh, allow our team to flip the field. Um, and then give our defense that long field so we can go ahead and do what we do on defense and um, get the ball back to our offense. Thanks, Coach. All right, appreciate it, guys. Thank you.